Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and welcome back to High Media Headlines. I know time is a flat circle, and we all come back to original ideas eventually. We're going to get started with our gaming and nerd news for the day, uh, starting with our headlines. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is coming to NVIDIA's streaming service tomorrow. Nightingale Studios Inflection closes the UK division and layoff uh, staff. Studio Thunderhorse also gets shut down. Ubisoft confirms it's exploring new Rayman game with creator Michael Ansel involved. And uh, Epic's shared list of uh, a shared fab list of known issues at launch that we covered this yesterday. And lastly, but certainly not least, God of War series adaptation rises from the ashes with Ronald D. Moore as showrunner. This is our top story of the day. If you want to see any of our uh, headlines that we go into greater detail, check out our YouTube Shorts feed. And if you want to read the articles for yourself, you, you can access our archives on our Discord for the low, low cost of $3 a month. It supports the show and helps make this all possible. So, uh, God of War series adaptation rises from the ashes. Just last week, Sony and Amazon's adaptation of the PlayStation game God of War ran what seems like a very large robot. Two studios parted ways with their showrunner, Ralph uh, Judkins, from A Wheel of Time, and executive producers Hawk Otsby and Mark Fergus. The three were announced in talks to create the show all the way back in March of 2022 and officially brought on board last December, but quickly as the project falls apart, it comes back together. A variety of reports that the architect of the Cylon plan himself, Ronald D. Moore, is God of War's new showrunner, executive producer, and writer. Moore is the writer of several Star Trek shows. Before developing the Battlestar Galactica reboot in 03, more recently he developed the Outlander adaptation. Outlander, is, the Outlander show, is very good. And while I am very much am not a you know huge you know TV person, I will say the fact that he made Outlander tells me that he is absolutely going to do a good job with this. Uh, when the series was first announced, the series offered the series. Kratos, a.k.a. the God of War, who is exiling himself from his blood-soaked past in ancient Greece, hangs up his weapons forever in the Norse realm of Midgard. When his beloved wife dies, Kratos sets off on a dangerous journey with his estranged son to spread her ashes from the highest peak, his wife's final wish. Kratos soon realizes the journey is an epic quest in disguise, one which will test the bonds between father and son and force Kratos to battle new gods and monsters for the fate of the world. So I'm ex so it sounds like it's just following the plot of the game, which is fine, which is perfectly fine with me so i'm excited for this i might actually watch this i and you guys know i'm not a big tv person myself so that's a big statement coming from me now we are on to the portion of the show content warning where we are going into non-gaming related stuff primarily in the g uh in into the world news slash geopolitics slash u.s politics side of things I, uh, a content warning, I do have left or wing views if that is something that you find triggering or not something you are particularly interested in. This is your uh, warning to hop off now. And now we will get into the other news. First, our headlines. Trump says he would fire Jack Smith within two seconds if elected. N after news of DOJ warning, Elon Musk's super PAC didn't announce a daily lottery winner on Wednesday. Arizona man charged with over three shootings on a Democratic office. The LA Times editor resigns after a presidential endorsement is blocked by the owner. North Carolina government calculates hurricane only damages in the, in, the, in the billions of $53 billion to be exact. Arizona team planned an attack on a Phoenix Pride Festival, prosecutors say. And Tucker Carlson compares Trump to angry dad spanking a bad little girl at rally. Gross. On to our main story, which is more environmental. Hawaii races to stop the spread of tree-killing rhinoceros beetles and invasive species that can fly two miles and lay 140 eggs. Hawaii has been ramping up its efforts to stop the spread of the coconut rhinoceros beetle, an invasive species that has expanded its presence drastically since first being detected in the state a decade ago. According to the state's Invasive Species Council, the beetles, which are native to Africa, China, and Southeast Asia, are about two inches long with a C-shaped body. They are nocturnal and can fly up to two miles 
when looking for a food source. The female beetles lay 100 to 50 to 140 eggs in their lifetime, which is typically four to nine months. First found in Hawaii in 2013 at the Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, the invasive species spread across the state last year and has been detected multiple times in recent months, officials say. Coconut rhinoceros beetles do not bite, but may carry disease since they live in dirt and mulch. According to the Hawaii Invasive Species Council, the beetles can kill coconut trees, palms, and other tropical crops like kalo and banana. They, once they bore into them, which ultimately jeopardizes the economy, entire ecosystem, agriculture, and food security. So I want to remind everybody that Hawaii has a delicate ecosystem that is by itself already on the rocks in a lot of ways. And the reason that is, is, you know, obviously Hawaii has been dealing with, you know, settler colonialism for hundreds of years. And, you know, with Western settler colonialism comes a general desolation of the local ecology. You know, it was very, very much, it's, it's very, very much a, uh, thing that will affect that affects the um that like or is barely the ecology of hawaii is barely being held back in that regard and this invasive species does not help those matters whatsoever so i'm very i'm hoping that the you know invasive species council in hawaii is able to actually do this because this would end very very poorly hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.